Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a power charge for a character in Mugen. So first what we're going to have to do is download three items, which is Mugen itself, um, Fighter Factory Studio, and also a character. I'm going to use Flounder Scarlet because she's cool. <laughs> uh, three reasons that I will put up on the screen because I am too lazy to t say to myself. Here are, is the character. Okay, cool. Now, first of all, we're going to have to go and create an animation for the power charge. So we're going to load up Fighter Factory over here, whatever reason it's appearing on my second monitor, but right over here I have the character. And we're going to make an animation. We're going to use for Flander, we're going to use um, right over here, 100 and... Okay, 200, let's find a suitable sprite, um, part, yep, here, 195. We're going to use group 195. We're going to create a new animation, power charge, let's just call it that, and we're going to put the number 70630. That is going to be the animation number. So... We're going to put in 195. Going to put in these sprites, add them in, add the blue collisions as usual. So remove group, remove minus one, uh, like that. Switch the collider. Okay, good. So we're going to put this at uh, three. Excuse me. Move this. So three. Two time two two um, two three three. We're going to add a red collider here, and we're going to copy it. You can use Control C to copy the red collider and paste it here. Let's just, yeah, move that there. Okay, and now we're going to go back here, start a loop in this frame, so that we do like so. Okay, save the thing, and we're going to go into commands first to create a new command for the power charge. So we're going to scroll down, grab this, scroll down to here where it says level 3 spell cards. I'm going to copy this. There rename this to other, pay, and okay. And we're gonna start doing our thing. So first, we're going to put state minus one power charge type equals change state value equals 7630. We're going to use this as our number. Trigger all equals command equals hold start. So this is our trigger for the command. So when we press hold start, it calls the change state. Trigger all equals Command. Okay, why is this not working? Trigger all equals command is not equal to hold down because we don't want to be able to do this when we are crouching. Trigger all equals power is smaller than power max. So only when the power is less than the max power are we going to be able to do this. Trigger one equals CTRL. We have to have control of the character to do this. And trigger one equals state type is not equal to 
Okay, we're not going to be in the air to do this. So now we're going to go to the states. We're first going to remove the taunt because it uses the same uh, button. We don't want that. And now we're going to go to the normals, which is where I'm going to add it, or might as well do it in the states. It doesn't really matter. And now I'm going to put a line here. So let's do that. Bobbity boom. Okay. So first, states. State def seven uh yep seventy six thirty power charge as you can see it also appeared up over here so now type equals s because we're standing move type equals i is an idle move because we're not attacking anyone um okay physics equals s they don't have to be caps but i will put them like that so that we can read them easier anyways vel set equals zero comma zero so we are not going to move at all when we do this it's gonna lock us ctrl equals zero we do not have control when we do this move okay anim equals 7630 spr priority equals two that is our sprite priority now we're going to add the to increase our power we're going to put the power add so down here we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select power add and double click to add it in. We're not going to need these. Value says how much power we're going to add per tick, which is 10. And trigger one is going to be time because for every tick, it's going to give you 10 power. There are 60 frames, sorry, 60 ticks in a second. So it's going to give you 60 power per second. If you want, we can do time mod 2 or time divided by 2 and that is going to be uh, so 5 ticks per second or uh, yeah something like that anyways we're just going to use time and we're going to add 10 ticks per second so sorry 10 power per second per tick excuse me now we're going to put a um, change animation we're going to need to create a new p animation for um actually we're not going to need to do that sorry i almost forgot we don't need that we just need finally a change state this is pretty simple if you want you can get into other animations but i'm not going to do that for the sake of this um sim for the sake of simplicity and yeah i can delete this this down here and so value is going to be zero because it is going to be the idle animation which is by default zero trigger one we are going to set that to command is not equal to hold start which if you remember is the command that we use trigger two equals power equals power max and that should be it uh, also let me think uh, persistent equals zero that should actually uh, I don't think we need this but let's see if it doesn't work we're gonna just remove it so downloads which is where I save my stuff my uh, Megan for this tutorial. Grab it here, get funner, and whatever, I don't care. Power charge button is held, power goes up. Oh yes, persistent equal zero does not work. We have to remove that line. And now, let's see. Blap, blap, blap. And now, Fight. 
See, the power is going up, and we still do not have control. All right, that's because I put control equals zero down here. Control has to be one so that we can actually continue. A less ferocious opponent plays can't fight is fine. One. We put power, power goes up. We're still not working. Okay, what is this? Something bugs with the Okay, something's bugged over here. What is this? Control we might have to put that change anim. Okay, fine. That's not going to take very long. So, change item, we're going to trigger one equals, just copy this, and we're going to copy this as, oh, no, 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 we need this as well. So, trigger one, trigger two, okay, we might as well, okay, put the value, okay, yes, so we're going to create a new animation, uh, it's called um, power charge pt2, and we're going to name, we're going to give it the number 706301, uh, actually, and we're going to get rid of this frame, we're going to go to 195 and we're going to add basically everything that we had in here, but in reverse. So here's the animation code. We can copy this, close, edit the code, map, apply. And now we have what we did before, but we need it in reverse. So uh, actually, we don't want this. So let's see, the final tick, this is going to be the first one. So remove this one. Yes. Uh, this one. Yes. This one. This one. And this one. Then we're going to put in, so this is the final tick. Then we're going to add this, 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 and this. And we're just going to look back here at what the values were. So this is three. This is also going to be three. Then this is going to be two. Uh, and I remember that these were two as well. So two, two, two. And this one was three, three. Okay, good. Here it has this collision box, which we need to copy and paste here. And that is for all of them. Yeah, okay, cool. And we're not going to loop any of, fr of the frames because that is not what we want. So <laughs> we go back here. Value is going to be This and persistent is going to be zero, and actually this is one, and we need to move this up. So all of this, we can put a space there to make it look nice. And we're going to run Mugen again and see if it works, which it should work now. So oh, please no. OK, KFM, so let me have enough time. Put that, and now we can move around. Bubbly whoop, bubbly whoop, bubbly whoop. And now we have our power charged up. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Yeah, thank you, good sir. That was not from my power charge, that was something else. But now we have the power charge. Well, thank you for watching, and now look, see, it's three. I'm pressing start, and no power goes up because we have full power. And if we use some of the power, let's just go over here and, and here I go. Kind. 
and now we have less power. We can charge it up again, and now it's full. We can't power charge anymore. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, and uh, yeah, please subscribe. It took a while to found to find out how to do this, but hey. Anyways, thanks for watching, and um, see you next time, I guess.